I told you, this thing is bigger than Nino Brown, and I gotta listen to If I'm going down, I'll take court. a whole lot of people with me. Order in the court. Nino Brown boxing. I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So I want to talk about the Sergey Kovalev Anthony Yar fight coming up this weekend. Now, I hear a lot of people talking about it, and it seems like the general consensus the general consensus is Anthony Yar Anthony Yar really doesn't have much of a chance. And like I understand where everyone is coming from, but I decided to take the more optimistic approach and look at it like this. You know, Anthony Yard is a young guy. He doesn't have much amateur experience. He um, hasn't had a, that step-up fight as a pro, and he decides to step up against a guy like Sergey Kovalev. Now, it's we got to think of it like this. Anthony Yard is a full-fledged light heavyweight, and it's just odd. It's very odd for me. It's like, okay... We know we all have weight classes for a reason. That's one. Um, and I understand skills pay the bills. I get that. But my whole thing with all of this is like, when we know we have weight classes, there is, it's a it's a certain line where the skill set doesn't matter anymore when you consider the weight. And the only reason I say this like, I understand that Sergey Kovalev and Anthony Yar are in the same division. But the only reason I say this is we were talking, I mean, it's, it was just talks about Canelo Alvarez going up to 175. Canelo Alvarez is a, he's a small, like height-wise, he's a small middleweight. So going up to light heavyweight, it seemed like people were saying, you know, oh, this, this isn't a good pick for Canelo picking Kovalev. You know, you pick Kovalev, if every, like the, the discussion amongst the boxing community is that if you're going to fight Kovalev, this is the time to get him. Kovalev doesn't live the fighter lifestyle. Sergey Kovalev has a lot of shit going on outside the ring. We all know Kovalev drinks and he's salt to the body. Um, past trainers of Kovalev have said that he's not dedicated in his training. He's lazy. He wants to do what he wants to do. And he doesn't listen to his coaches. My thing is, I understand that Canelo Alvarez and Anthony Yard's skill set is very different. But Canelo Alvarez being a smaller guy coming up to 175, I feel like if Canelo Alvarez has a possible chance of beating uh, Sergey Kovalev with the amount of power, remember this is the same Canelo that's not getting knockouts at middleweight, not against top competition anyway. If this same Canelo Alvarez can go up to uh, 175 and people feel like he's going to beat Kovalev, I think Anthony Yard has a chance because it's just taking all of those factors in for Sergey Kovalev, that's at, that's at um, Kovalev's disadvantage as well. Now, we all know Anthony Yard's backstory. You know, we know his limited amateur career, but I feel like he's been moving extremely cautiously throughout his entire career why all of a sudden now does Anthony Yard decide to take this step-up fight with Sergey Kovalev? I look at it like if Canelo Alvarez and team see something in Kovalev that makes Canelo want to fight Kovalev over all the other light heavyweights, Anthony Yard and his team, they can see the same exact thing. Now, Canelo could go up and fight Kovalev and just, can just be a repeat of the Mikey Garcia-Earl Spence fight. That could very well happen. But clearly, we're not talking about an undefeated Earl Spence Jr. that dominated the division. We're talking about a Sergey Kovalev that has been stopped twice recently. And he has poor out-of-the-ring habits. So with that being said, I have to be very optimistic when it comes to Anthony Yard. And I have to look at it like Anthony Yard def definitely has a chance against Sergey Kovalev, and that's my stance on it. I feel like considering Anthony Yard being a um, very inexperienced guy, but his team moves him cautiously, I feel like this is also a very calculated move. Now, with the move possibly being very calculated, that doesn't mean that Anthony Yard is going to win, but that also doesn't mean that Sergey Kovalev be being the victor in this fight is just 100% 
what the reality is going to be. Honestly, I hope um, Anthony Yard beats Kovalev. I hope Anthony Yard stops him. I hope he stops him in dramatic fashion. I hope Anthony Yard is the guy that um, that we all want him to be. And I hope it's displayed this weekend. This Nino Brown boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. I am remaining optimistic when it comes to Anthony Yard versus Sergey Kovalev. And I'm picking Yard to win. It's Nino Brown boxing. And I'm out.